Hey, my crafting friends, I'm Pavels. Welcome to my channel, Qualitas Creations. Today, I'm going to put together the Valentine Love Potion Bottle by Chaos Crafts. And here's a picture of what it looks like. And I'm just gonna work with this a little bit, just kind of play around and see what I can do. I do have some shaker ones that I already have completed, but I'm not gonna do a tutorial on the shaker ones, but I do wanna kind of play around with these dies and see what else I can do with them. So let's get started. So here's the bottle part right here. And I cut out the heart. So the bottle's right here. This is the heart I'm getting ready to work with. We have a love potion. I have these three hearts, and I don't know if it came with a die or if it was just in the bag. So <laughs> I'm not really sure. I'll have to double check. I don't see the little hearts on here. So I'm not sure if those hearts came with this die or if it was uh, maybe a free gift that I received. Anyways, let me get started. I'll apply glue to the back of this heart. I checked on the back, made sure it didn't overlap, and it looks good from the back. Now when you use this die cut, you end up with a piece, and it looks like this. I know this has a little piece of acetate on it, but I don't have one. Oh, yes, I do. I have one right over here. So let me show you. When you cut this out, you end up with two pieces, the outline and this heart. I don't want to throw these hearts away because they're so cute. So I decided what I want to do is line it up like this, and then I'll put it down here. I'll add a little bit of glue to the back. I know this isn't how it's designed to be put together, and that's fine. I just want to see what else I can do with it. Because when you buy dyes, yeah, you can make it the way it's supposed to look, and that's that's fine. I mean, of course, make it the way it's supposed to look. But then I won't think to myself, what else can I do with it? Because I don't want to just make all the same design. I kind of want to work with it a little bit and see what I can do. So that's what I'm going to do in this video. I have it here. This piece is from this die cut right here. And it looks like it has a heart in it, which it does. You can't really see it. So what I want to do is take a little pink heart, apply glue, Where's my little, uh, my reverse? Here. They look like reverse tweezers to me, <laughs> because look at them. You know how tweezers usually go this direction? Obviously, don't go that direction, but they're great for putting your um, dies together, your die cuts together. So let that sit there. And I'm debating, I know in the picture, and let me show you the picture again, is right here. You can see the heart goes behind. This heart piece here goes behind it like this. And that is cute. I've done that in the past. I just want to see what it would look like if I put it here. And I don't think it looks right. So I won't do that. But it's nice to just kind of work with work with it and see where you want to put it. I think right there looks good. Looks straight to me. I'll just press it down. I'm using art glitter glue today. And I'll just set that there. Now we have the Love Potion. 
And there's Love and Potion. Those are the dies. And we're going old school, guys. So let me just move this aside. And we're going to pull out this little Sizzix Sidekick. Now, I'm not sure if anyone still has one of these, but I do. So I just need a little... A die cut so I'm just gonna cut this die right here and I don't want to pull out my huge machine just for a little die so I found some scrap paper here see by oh is that beautiful I just love the glitter paper okay look at these are these so cute they're so tiny So I will place this here and a little bowl over it. Have my other little plate. And that did not cut. <laughs> Hold on a second. Well, it's been a while since I used this little sidekick. So I have these other plastic pads here and it looks like I've used these quite a bit so I'm thinking I might have to use this one instead so let's try it out oh there we go I'm just gonna run it through one more time just in case I can tell the cutting pads are slightly um, thicker these are and it did cut yay <laughs> let me put this over here this must be for I don't know maybe some thicker oh probably the Sizzix sidekick came with some dies so they have a backing on them so maybe that's what's going on it's like I said, it's been a while since I've used my Sizzix. So here's my little ribbon. Use my pokey tool. We're back in business. Okay. Where were we? <laughs> oh my goodness. Do you ever have this happen to you? Like when you're recording? You think you have everything where you need it, and then all of a sudden it's like, wait a minute, I'm missing something. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's okay. I just turn off the camera and start all over. Oh, that's pretty. I like the bow there. And I don't like how long. Oh, well, first, you know what, before I start cutting something because once you cut it then you can't take it back so I'm going to put glue on this one right here I think I missed a spot there we go And I want the love to be over here. Yeah, I will probably trim that ribbon. Because it's right in my way. Which way do I want it? There we go. I'll probably trim the other side too, but I'll wait until I put the potion down and then I'll be able to figure out where do I want to trim it. Just add a little glue here. As I mentioned, I did purchase this from Chaos Crafts. Um, Chaos Crafts is on AliExpress and on Amazon. If you're not familiar with them, you should really check them out. 
absolutely adorable dies. Oh my goodness, I absolutely love their dies. And then I'll put the potion right here. Move it up just a little bit. All right, so I don't like the uneven ribbon. <laughs> Make sure everything's even. I don't know. That's better. Now that is cute. I like that. But of course, you know me. I love my bling. So let me see what kind of bling I can put on this. Do I want that one? Or... Let me see. I have... I don't know about you, but when I work with my jemmies, I don't always use them all. So I put them in here so I can use them when I need just a few jemmies. So I'm going to look through my little jemmy box here. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, I kind of like that too. I'll set it aside. And what else do I have? Kind of like the pink, but not totally sold on the pink yet. So that's a maybe. That's a nice thing. Oh, what is this? Oh my goodness. What is this? Look at those. Oh my goodness. Decisions, decisions. What do I want to do? Oh my goodness. Okay. I really like the roses. Guys, I really like the roses. I think that's so pretty. I put, it's just a plain silver rose. I feel like I could put a rose here. Oh my goodness. Yes. You know, I think I'm just going to use a rose. It does have adhesive on the back already, but I'm just going to use a little bit of glue. Just so I can... Lay it down and make sure it's in the right spot. Oh, I like it. Oh my goodness, that is so pretty. And here's how it turned out. I think it turned out adorable. I really like how it turned out. Sometimes I make shakers and then sometimes I don't wanna make a shaker. So I think this turned out perfect. I'll set it aside. Well, thank you for spending time with me today. If you like my video, please give me a thumbs up and leave a positive comment. Make sure to click the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you know when I upload more videos. I hope everyone has an awesome rest of the week. Stay safe, stay positive, and keep crafting. Bye, my crafting friends.